This will sound very strange. This is a very important video, and I guarantee that you will find it to be an extremely interesting video. There are so many prophetic signs in the Manhattan blackout that occurred on July 13th, 2019, and the connections to these prophetic signs that are extremely important and profound. And this will sound very strange, but the Manhattan blackout was a major prophetic sign that is predicting that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on May 4th, 2023. And there will be a massive evacuation of Manhattan Island. It is also likely that the official narrative in the mainstream media that will emerge regarding this event will somehow be a lie. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this time-stamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. Although it has been known since early 2021 that a dirty bomb would explode in Manhattan in the near future, as you can see in this email, this prediction for a dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan on May 4th was known since at least April 17th. There are also many other videos on this channel that make this prediction that were posted many days before this video was posted. In the most important video on this channel, which is titled God's Purpose for These Predictions, I will explain the reason for why God has given me a voice through this prediction that is from God. You are making a very grave and serious error if you think you already know how I was able to know this prediction, and more importantly, if you think you already know why I was able to know this prediction. It would be very foolish for you to skip watching this most important video. You will have missed the point of this prediction. One of the purposes for this prediction is to establish that the main conclusions being stated in this video are fact. That is the purpose for this prediction. Therefore, there is no debate regarding the information that I will be presenting. If there were to continue to be a debate on the information I will be presenting, there is no purpose for the prediction. In other words, the information is controversial, but that is the reason for the prediction, to end the controversy. It is a serious warning for those that disagree with the things being stated in this video. And to not appreciate this is to miss entirely the point of this prediction that is from God, and it is to miss the point of this video and video channel. This is how prophecy works. This is how God proves things. This is why one third of the Bible is prophecy in order to prove that it is the word of God. Jesus said to those that doubted him, if they didn't believe what he had said, then they should believe the works. They should believe the healings and miracles that Jesus did. In the description box below, I will leave a link to the video titled God's Purpose for These Predictions. Hurricane Barry hinted at Barack Obama, whose name was Barry. Hurricane Barry was known for its power outages that it caused and the 153,000 people in Louisiana without power. This 153,000 customers without power occurred on the same day as the boat explosion on Table Rock Lake, which hinted at the duck boat tragedy that killed 17 people, nine of which were from the same family, and this hinted at 9 times 17 equals 153. The power outages caused by Hurricane Barry occurred on the same day as the Manhattan blackout power outage. In Bible prophecy, a period of 42 months is symbolic of the period of the Antichrist's rule. The Manhattan blackout occurred exactly 160 minutes, shy of exactly 42 years after the New York City blackout in 1977. 160 minutes hints at 4 times 40, which hints at 4 times 4, which hints at 44, and this identifies the Antichrist, the 44th president. The infamous New York City blackout in 1977 that resulted in massive looting and crime began after a perfect storm of three separate lightning events. 
Con Edison called it an act of God, which it was. As explained earlier, Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven, and the name Barack Obama in Hebrew means lightning from heaven. The period of the Antichrist is described in the book of Daniel in chapter 9, verse 27. This is why at 9.27 p.m. on July 13, 1977, the biggest generator in New York City, the 990 megawatt Ravenswood generating unit number three, also known as Big Alice, shut down and with it went all of New York City. The 990 megawatt Ravenswood generator shutting down at 9.27 p.m. identifies the 44th president as the Antichrist in Daniel 9.27, as the 44th triangular number is 990. 990 is also 9 times 110, which is a pairing of 9 and 110. I'll just take a couple of brief minutes here to explain why God pairs the numbers 9 and 110 together. Jesus' official arrival into Jerusalem and first coming was on the 10th day of the first month in the Hebrew calendar. This is 110, and this hints at the number 110. In the book of Joshua, the date on which the Hebrews crossed over the Jordan River and officially entered the Promised Land was also on the 10th day of the first month, which is 110, and hints at the number 110. Jesus' first coming is symbolized by the number 110. This is why on 9-11, the two towers that collapsed were each 110 stories high. The collapse of two towers that were 110 floors was symbolism for Jesus' second coming. In the book of Joshua in the Bible, Joshua died at the age of 110. Joshua led the Hebrews around the security walls of the ancient city of Jericho before they collapsed in judgment. On 9-11, the Twin Towers, which were 110 stories high, collapsed, engendering a small earthquake that cracked the foundation of Federal Hall, where George Washington was inaugurated, on Wall Street. President George Washington was a founding father, and his inauguration as the first president was a symbolic founding of the nation. The cracking of the foundation of Federal Hall on Wall Street on 9-11 symbolized America's foundation in God being cracked. This is because after Washington's inauguration at Federal Hall, he then walked down Wall Street to Trinity Chapel where he consecrated the nation to God, saying that if the nation were to ever turn away from God, it would lose its blessings. After 9-11, Trinity Chapel was called the Miracle Chapel, as it was the only building at Ground Zero to have survived. It did not even suffer a broken window due to the 70-year-old sycamore tree that was uprooted as it sheltered the chapel from the falling debris. In commemoration of this sycamore tree outside the chapel, today there is a huge bronze statue of its roots. In other words, through the 9-11 events, God was pointing to Trinity Chapel and Washington's covenantal consecration of the nation to God at Trinity Chapel. Wall Street is named after the original nine-foot-high wall of security that the Dutch built to keep the British and the Indians out. The collapse of 110 floors that cracked the foundation of Federal Hall on Wall Street which is named after a nine-foot-high security wall, hints at 9-11 and points to Joshua, who died at 110, and the Hebrews that marched around the walls of security before they collapsed in judgment. 110 floors and the nine-foot-high wall of security that was Wall Street points to George Washington's march down Wall Street to Trinity Chapel that symbolized a covenantal relationship between America and God. To this effect, Washington's march down Wall Street with the New York Stock Exchange, the building that symbolizes America's financial strength, located on one side of the street 
and Federal Hall, the building that symbolizes America's governmental and institutional strength on the other side, also pointed to the cutting rites ritual practiced in ancient Israel that was used in Abraham's and God's ritual walk in their covenant that is described in Genesis 15. A covenant that symbolizes Washington's walk down Wall Street and his covenantal consecration of the nation to God at Trinity Chapel. There are only two nations in the history of the world that were founded not on ethnicity or territory or language, but were founded solely for God, Israel and America. In every daily Bible that is divided into 365 readings, a portion of the Bible for each day of the year, on every September 11th, everyone that reads this standard 365-day Bible reads the passage in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 11, which is the judgment warning on ancient Israel, which was arrayed on ancient Israel by the world's first recorded terrorists, the ancient Assyrians, and the terrorists on 9-11 were from the same part of the world, the Assyrians raided the northern kingdom of Israel first, and then later the southern kingdom of Judah was destroyed, which is why the terrorists on 9-11 hit the north tower first, followed 17 minutes later by the south tower, and this Isaiah 9-11 passage includes a mention of collapsed buildings and uprooted sycamore trees. On the morning after 9-11, Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle gave a speech to the world regarding the events on 9-11. He quoted the passage in Isaiah 9-11, not realizing it was a judgment warning on the ancient Jews. He quoted how, after the raid by the Assyrians, the Hebrews did not repent to God, but instead vowed defiantly to rebuild and become stronger than before. And so, like the ancient Jews, America did not repent after the judgment warning, and instead defied God even more. And so, like ancient Israel, America will now be destroyed. This is why, in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, he frequently pairs together the number 110 and the number 9. Both of these numbers symbolize God's judgment on the nation, and paired together, these numbers point to the big judgment warning that was 9-11. As well, these numbers paired together in God's signs and connections serve as a witness confirmation that the perceived signs and connections are from God. After the judgment warning of 9-11, America was given a period of grace to repent and turn back to God, or else judgment destruction. In the Bible, a 20-year period symbolizes a complete period of waiting. Jacob waited 20 years to get possession of his wives and property. The children of Israel waited 20 years to be freed of Jabin, the king of Canaan, when they were freed from bondage by Deborah and Barak. The Ark of the Covenant waited 20 years in kirith Jerem, and Solomon spent 20 years building his home and the house of God. On the 20th anniversary of the buildings that collapsed on 9-11 was the sudden collapse of America's presence in Afghanistan. And the iconic scene of this was the U.S. Air Force plane leaving the airport in Afghanistan. And the big number on the side of its plane is 1109, which hints at 110 and 9. The number 42 symbolizes the Antichrist in Bible prophecy, and the Manhattan blackout in 2019 occurred on the 42nd anniversary of the 1977 New York City blackout, and it was initially reported in the 2019 Manhattan blackout that 42,000 customers were without power. This was later revised to 72,000 people without power. The area of the blackout was from 42nd Street to 72nd Street. This was mostly the area known as Hell's Kitchen. The blackout occurred in the middle of a heat wave, and the residents were said to be suffering without air conditioning, which hinted at the suffering in Hell. 
Times Square is located on 42nd Street. Later in the evening, power was restored to half of Times Square and Broadway. Half of Broadway was lit up and the other half remained in the dark. This occurred on the date July 13th, 713, and this is because in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13, it says that broad is the way to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. This was what was communicated from God with half of Broadway with its crowds of people in the middle of July in the dark while the other half remained lit up. God was communicating to choose the straight gate, the narrow way, which as Jesus said is hard and it is few people that will find this narrow gate. The Manhattan Blackout in 2019 is also known for the casts of the two Broadway musicals that put on an impromptu street performance during the power outage. One of them was the cast of the musical Hades Town, which had recently won the Tony Award for Best Musical. And Hades Town gives this Manhattan blackout prophetic sign more Antichrist symbolism. The other street performance was given by the cast of the musical Come From Away. The story of this musical is about the events that occurred in Newfoundland, Canada on the day of 9-11, thus giving this Manhattan blackout prophetic sign 9-11 symbolism. 9-11 was God's judgment warning for America to repent that pointed to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 10 through 11. The number 19 hints at Isaiah 9-10, and it is also symbolism for God's perfect judgment. As from the Bible, the number 9 symbolizes God's judgment and the number 10 symbolizes God's perfect order. Hence 19, which is 9 plus 10, symbolizes God's perfect judgment. In the Manhattan blackout, Madison Square Gardens lost power, where at the time Jennifer Lopez was performing a concert. This Jennifer Lopez concert in Manhattan was exactly 199 months after the Jennifer Lopez movie Made in Manhattan was released. Jennifer Lopez was born in New York City. She has a famous song about how she is from New York City. And this is the prophetic significance of the name Made in Manhattan. She was, in a way, Made in Manhattan. The number 199 hints at 19 and the number 9, and therefore is symbolic of God's judgment. The reason why God has incorporated this movie Made in Manhattan is because a central theme in the movie involves Richard Nixon. President Richard Nixon is famous for a couple of things. Most importantly, his weaponization of the federal government against his political enemies which is exactly what is going on today. And so God is using this to warn people about what is really going on with the federal government right now. Richard Nixon used the federal intelligence agencies as a weapon, and today the CIA is a government within the government and is completely corrupt. But this is just an understatement. Also, President Nixon was the only president to have used the 25th Amendment when he appointed Gerald Ford as his vice president after his first vice president resigned due to a corruption scandal. Gerald Ford became the 40th vice president and exactly 120 weeks later, he announced his national immunization campaign, which involved things that inject into people due to the hysteria fear over a virus in 1976. The 40th vice president and the 120 weeks connection to this thing that people inject hints at God's judgment as in the account of Noah's flood, God said to Noah that the flood judgment would begin after a period of 120 years, which a period of 120 weeks hints at 
and in the flood judgment, the flood waters increased for 40 days. Hence why Gerald Ford was the 40th vice president exactly 120 weeks before he announced his plan to inject the things into every American. Incidentally, this plan didn't work because of the effects that occurred on the side, if you know what I mean. The flood judgment hints at Watergate because in the flood account, the waters burst forth from the deep, which is what a Watergate hints at, and Gerald Ford became the president because of Watergate. Gerald Ford was the only president to never have been elected vice president or president, just like Barack Obama will become the president again and overcome the 22nd Amendment's restriction from someone being elected to the office more than twice, he will be appointed instead, which is a big reason why God uses Gerald Ford in his Signs and Connections, and this is why this Made in Manhattan movie, which has a moral theme in it involving Richard Nixon, and Richard Nixon is known for his immoral activities, surrounding Watergate, and as a result, Gerald Ford became the president. The point being here is that there are a lot of prophetic parallels between Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Watergate, the virus scare of 1976, and the coming Antichrist, Barack Obama. Which is why in this trail of signs that is being explained in this video, which is leading to the date it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan, is ultimately leading to increased further persecution of the political cult of the left's political opponents, conservative Christians, through the weaponization of the government. This was Jennifer Lopez's last tour to celebrate her 50th birthday, which was 11 days after her concert in the Manhattan blackout. From the Bible, the number 11 is symbolic of the execution of God's judgment. Jennifer Lopez was born in New York City 50 years before her concert in New York City during the Manhattan blackout. In the Bible, a 50-year period is prophetic, and Manhattan suffered the peak of COVID-19 on the 50th anniversary of the first legalization of abortion in the 50th state. And Trump, who was born in Queens, New York, and is from Manhattan, announced a national emergency on the exact 50th anniversary of the first legalization of abortion in the 50th state. Babies that are aborted are not born and this is what the birth of Jennifer Lopez in New York City, 50 years before the blackout in Manhattan in New York City, hints at. Jennifer Lopez is now known for having taken a strong stance in support of women's right to an abortion after her message on Instagram, after the Supreme Court overruled Roe versus Wade, when Jennifer Lopez said, We are living in an America I don't recognize. I stand with you and for women's rights in this country. Jennifer Lopez is the 17th highest grossing female artist worldwide this century in terms of concert sales, and she sold 1.7 million tickets, which hints at 17. Her 2019 concert tour and concert in Manhattan during the Manhattan blackout was 17 years after the release of her movie, Made in Manhattan. This is because on 9-11, the two planes struck the two towers in Manhattan 17 minutes apart. Her Manhattan concert was exactly 199 months after her movie, Made in Manhattan, because the Manhattan blackout was exactly 23 weeks after the date 2-3 February 3rd, which hints at 23, and the day that the GOAT of football, Tom Brady, won the Super Bowl. There are many prophetic signs that confirm this 23 weeks connection. For example, the date 2-3, which hints at 23 itself, the signs within the Super Bowl that were also pairs of 2 and 3, but also this Super Bowl was exactly 2300 days after the 23rd anniversary of the 1989 World Series earthquake in the San Francisco Bay Area, and on the 23rd anniversary, a huge fireball flew at low altitude 
over the San Francisco Bay Area. In Daniel chapter 8, a period of 2300 days is associated with the timing of the Antichrist. And that chapter is about a battle between a goat and a ram. And Tom Brady is the goat, greatest of all time. And in this Super Bowl, he played the Rams. Also, this was Super Bowl 53, and 53 is the 16th prime number, and God uses 16 to hint at 4 times 4 and the 44th president, and God pairs 23 and 44 together to confirm his signs and connections as the 44th president, the basketball president, wore jersey number 23. And also Tom Brady in this GOAT versus the Rams Super Bowl, the Rams quarterback was player number 16, which also hints at 4 times 4 and 44, which pairs with this 23. Also, the Manhattan blackout was on the 42nd anniversary of the 1977 New York City blackout, as was already explained. And in 1977 was the year of the release of the movie Star Wars, starring Harrison Ford. And Harrison Ford's Star Wars career spanned 42 years. 2019 was the last Star Wars movie with Harrison Ford in it. On the Super Bowl date, there was a sign involving Harrison Ford as he starred in one of the, or if not the, biggest commercial of the Super Bowl, and Super Bowls are known for their commercials. He starred as himself, Harrison Ford, in the Amazon commercial that was about a blackout. It was about a worldwide blackout, and 23 weeks later was the Manhattan blackout. And this 23 weeks later and the Manhattan blackout on July 13th, 2019 was Harrison Ford's 77th birthday. And it was the 42nd anniversary of the 1977 blackout. And Harrison Ford was born in Chicago where the goat Antichrist is from. Also on the day of the Super Bowl was a prophetic plane crash in Yorba Linda, California, in which Harris... Kamala Harris tweeted her condolences because she was at that time the senator from California and Yorba Linda was, is the location of the Richard Nixon Library and again Richard Nixon used the 25th Amendment to appoint Gerald Ford and that's why Harrison Ford, his two names, they hint at two presidents, President Harrison and Gerald Ford. Harrison because President Grover Cleveland was the only president to serve non-consecutive terms. He skipped the presidency of uh, Benjamin Harrison, and that's also how it points to Barack Obama, who will also serve non-consecutive terms, skipping the presidency of President Trump, God's trumpet that is trumpeting the arrival of the Antichrist. Also, this plane crash was in Los Angeles on the same day that the football team from Los Angeles was in the Super Bowl, being led by a quarterback that had the jersey number 16, which hints at four times four and the 44th president. And this 44th president will become president again and serve non-consecutive terms and be appointed through the 25th Amendment after Kamala Harris, who was from California, will die in a plane crash on her flight from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles, where this plane crashed on the day of this Super Bowl. And Barack Obama will become president again after Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. And that's why Harrison Ford is known for his aviation mishaps. Harrison hints at Harris. And why this aviation mishap, this plane crash in Yorba Linda, California on the day of the Harrison Ford commercial, on the day of the Super Bowl, 23 weeks exactly before the Manhattan blackout. And the concert of J Jennifer Lopez, which is again, and the point of all of this, is that her concert was exactly 199 months after the release of the movie Made in Manhattan, which is about, which contains a moral theme regarding Richard Nixon. Tom Brady is known for being selected 199th in his college draft. And in this case, this connects with the 199 months between Lopez's Made in Manhattan movie and Lopez's concert during the Manhattan blackout. Tom Brady was selected 199th and was never supposed to be a starting quarterback, but Tom Brady, player number 12, 
replaced the starting quarterback for the Patriots, player 11, 12 days after 9-11. After this quarterback, Drew Bledsoe, player number 11, was hit hard by a New York Jets linebacker and almost bled to death, which is why his name is Bledsoe. And this hints at the Jets that hit hard the two towers on 9-11 that looked like a giant 11 in New York State, the 11th state to join the Union. And the first plane was Flight 11, which had a crew of 11 people because Jesus coined the phrase the 11th hour, which referred to the last hour of daylight before darkness. And in English is an idiom that means last chance. Time is running out as in last chance for America to repent, which is what the 9-11 judgment warning was. And Tom Brady ended up becoming the goat of football. In the Bible, goat is symbolism for the Antichrist. The goat of football went into that Super Bowl in 2019 with 17 Super Bowl records. And with that Super Bowl, him and his coach, Bill Bilicek, had been in nine of the 11 Super Bowls that the New England Patriots had been in. The reason for Brady's 17 Super Bowl records, which connects to Jennifer Lopez being the 17th highest grossing female artist and selling 1.7 million tickets, which hints at 17, and her concert in the Manhattan Blackout 17 years after her Made in Manhattan movie, is because that Super Bowl in 2019 was 17 years after the Patriots' first Super Bowl win in the Super Bowl shortly after 9-11, when the two towers were struck 17 minutes apart. And the prophetic significance of this 17 minutes in between the two planes that struck the two towers is that after the first plane struck the North Tower, no one knew for sure whether it was an accident or an act of terrorism. 17 minutes later, as the world watched live and in horror, the second plane strike the second tower, it was confirmed that it was an act of terrorism and judgment from God. In other words, the two planes striking two towers is a second witness confirmation. As the Bible says, Second and third witnesses are required to confirm a matter. That Super Bowl right after 9-11 is known for its last minute winning drive in which Brady and the Patriots started from their 17-yard line with the score tied at 17-17. to -17. This last minute drive from the 17-yard line with the two teams tied at 17-17 including the team from Boston and the Rams, which now play in Los Angeles. And 17 years later, the Patriots again played the Rams, who were from Los Angeles, hinted at the 17 minutes in between when the two planes struck the two towers that were flights from Boston to Los Angeles. The winning field goal was kicked by player number four in the final play of the fourth quarter at the end of the game. That kicker went on to win four Super Bowls and become the GOAT of football kicking, which hinted at the 44th president Antichrist GOAT. The reason for going into this connection between the Super Bowl after 9-11 and the Manhattan blackout is that this last tour of Jennifer Lopez was her fourth concert tour. On the same day as her concert during the Manhattan blackout, during her fourth concert tour, there was a 4.0 magnitude earthquake in Manhattan, Montana. A record-setting earthquake for the local area and it occurred exactly nine months and 11 days after the swarm of earthquakes began there. This nine months and 11 days connection to this prophetic earthquake in Manhattan, Montana, on the day of the Manhattan blackout and during the Manhattan blackout, of course, hints at the events of 9-11 in Manhattan. 
The 4.0 earthquake in Manhattan, Montana occurred during the time of the Manhattan blackout in which Lopez was performing in her fourth concert tour, which hinted at the 44th president. From the Bible, the number nine is the most important number as it symbolizes God's judgment. The Manhattan earthquake on the day of the Manhattan blackout was one of nine prophetic signs spaced nine days apart that began on Pentecost in 2019, June 16th, the day that a rare 3.2 magnitude earthquake occurred right at Jericho, Washington State, and this was at the end of a trail of signs that was parallel with the timing of events in the book of Joshua, which climaxed with the walls of security collapsing on the ancient city of Jericho due to an earthquake. In other words, this prophetic sign was expected ahead of time, and when I found out that the earthquake occurred in Jericho, at the end of this trail of signs that we were following that led to Pentecost that were parallel with the timing of events in the book of Joshua, I had to go for a long walk. Joshua died at the age of 110. Joshua led the Hebrews around the ancient walls of security of the ancient city of Jericho. And 110 days exactly before this earthquake in Jericho, Washington state, was the day that the walls of security collapsed, the Jerusalem wall of security collapsed, a portion of it due to heavy rains. And 110 weeks before this Jericho, Washington State earthquake was the tunnel walls that collapsed on rail cars carrying plutonium, which necessitated a complete evacuation of the Hanford nuclear site, which is literally just a few miles downstream on the Columbia River. The Hanford nuclear site is the location where the first plutonium for the first atomic bomb was made. God uses Columbia to symbolize America as does Washington State symbolize America? And exactly 110 months before this Jericho earthquake was the day that the 100-foot section of wall collapsed at the Mount Vernon High School. And Mount Vernon is symbolism for Washington, Mount Vernon's estate, or jo uh, Washington's Mount Vernon estate. Nine days after that was the rare 0 0.9 magnitude earthquake in Queens, New York, where Trump is from or where he was born and Trump is a trumpet trumpeting judgment and the walls of Jericho collapsed due to an earthquake due after the trumpets were blown. And this earthquake was between 9th and 11th Street right across the East River from Manhattan. And it occurred at 7.26 p.m., which hinted at the 726th word in Strong's Greek New Testament concordance, which is the word for rapture, which is the event when God's faithful will be rescued from the Antichrist at the sounding of the trumpet. And then nine days after that was the prophetic July 4th earthquake in Ridgecrest, California. And these are explained in other videos, by the way. And the prophetic sign in this earthquake was the viral video of the uh, school play put on on that morning in which the uh, young students, the young kids were on stage singing their July 4th songs. And also uh, the, the play was commemorating the anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad. And that was also, there were more Transcontinental Railroad prophetic signs in that year, 2019, that was very important in America's history. America's manifest destiny, God's hand on American history. Anyway, as the kids' sledgehammers came down, that's when the earthquake happened right at the moment. It was a symbolism for God's gavel in judgment coming down, and the wall in the background of the play, it collapsed, which gave this Joshua symbolism. This wall was right behind the big American flag that was hanging there, and that was the sign this wall collapsed. And then the camera pans around uh, chaotically, but then pauses briefly on the American flag before continuing its chaos. In other words, God pointed to America. The, and then the camera goes dark, and the, I assume the electricity goes out, and the kids are screaming. It's quite disturbing, especially when you understand that it is a prophetic sign of God's judgment on America.
This earthquake occurred in Ridgecrest, California. Ridgecrest is symbolism for a wall. It was a 7.1 magnitude earthquake, and the media, the national media, kept reporting and saying how it was the strongest earthquake in 20 years. The media kept saying how it was the strongest earthquake in 20 years. This earthquake on America's birthday, July 4th, symbolic of America, since the 7.0 magnitude earthquake in Joshua Tree, California in 1999, Little did the media know that this earthquake in Ridgecrest, California was exactly 20 biblical years since the Joshua Tree, California earthquake. It wasn't just the strongest in roughly 20 years. It was exactly 20 biblical years. A biblical prophetic year is made up of 12 months of 30 days each. And in the Bible, a period of 20 years is symbolism for a complete, perfect period of waiting. God waiting for America to repent is what this symbolized. And then nine days after that was the 4.0 earthquake in Manhattan, Montana on the day or during the Manhattan blackout. And this earthquake and Manhattan, Montana are directly situated directly on top of the magma plume of Yellowstone volcano. And nine days after that were, was the day of the biblical floods in New York City. And on the day of the prophetic earthquake in Joshua Tree National Park, Joshua, three sets of seven earthquake. Joshua Park is a wilderness. This occurred in the middle of Joshua Tree National Park. It was a significant earthquake. It was statistically a significant earthquake. It made news. It was a national news story. I forget the magnitude. It was above four, though. It occurred at 9.27 a.m. and God uses the time 9.27 to hint at the verse that symbolizes or is regarding the end times period, including the Antichrist in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, the end times verse. 9.9 .9 miles south, and this was in the news stories, it was listed as 9.9 .9 miles south of 29 Palms and Psalm 29, which is what 29 Palms hints at, is the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. And that's what an earthquake in the middle of Joshua Tree National Park is, and a voice of the Lord shaking the wilderness. This was on the same day as the nine-year-old girl was tossed, I think, I uh, wouldn't be surprised, nine feet high in the air by the bison right next to Old Faithful Geyser in Yellowstone National Park, another national park symbolism sign, which is confirmed by the earthquake in Joshua Tree National Park. And this uh, year, Old Faithful Geyser was having its record, all-time record year of uh, eruptions, which was, what, which was pointing to, including the girl being tossed into the air, was symbolic of an eruption. And all of this was pointing to, of course, the coming eruption of Yellowstone Volcano, which will destroy America. Again, the number nine from the Bible is symbolism for God's judgment. The nine-year-old girl was tossed into the air in this series of prophetic signs that were spaced at nine-day intervals. And also this girl was from Florida. This was part of the news stories in the national news stories that mentions how she's from Florida. And that is because Florida is the 27th state to join the union. And God uses the number 27 as an emphasis of the number 9. 27 is 9 plus 9 plus 9. And in any way, all of this continues on for the nine signs spaced at nine days apart to the climax, which was the earthquake in Hutchinson, Calif uh, Hutchinson Kansas, one of three extremely prophetic earthquakes that were 4.0 or greater in Hutchinson, Kansas. And there have only been three and there have only been three earthquakes 4.0 or greater in Hutchinson, Kansas. And long story short, this was all pointing to Ann Hutchinson, Ann Hutchinson, the leader of the Free Grace Movement in the, the spiritual founding of America at the Boston Colony, for which her and her followers were banished and then later murdered by Native Indians. And today, the vast majority of evangelicals have some degree or all of the free grace doctrine, which Jesus says he hates and has clearly demonstrated through his prophetic signs to be the Nicolaitan doctrine of our day, which Jesus says he hates. 
and is coming to make war on with the sword of his mouth on those that teach and have the works that are a product of this doctrine, as he says in Revelation chapter 2. Pentecost symbolizes the church, and that's why this trail of nine prophetic signs, including these earthquakes spaced at nine-day intervals, begins on Pentecost with the rare earthquake in Jericho, National, or Jericho, Washington State, and ends with this prophetic earthquake in Hutchinson, Kansas. It's judgment for the church. The Anne Hutchinson earthquakes and other things will be explained more in other videos. Don't want to get off onto too much of a tangent, but also make sure that you watch the 23 church signs video on this channel, arguably one of the most or maybe the most important video on this channel. As Peter said, judgment begins with the church and God is very, very displeased with the American church, including the evangelical church which is the Church of Laodicea. God has also demonstrated that. The American Evangelical Church is the Church of Laodicea that thinks it is in need of nothing because of its heretical doctrine, its Anne Hutchinson doctrine, its free grace, easy believism, cheap grace doctrine, once saved, always saved doctrine, also properly known as antinomianism, which is also very much Calvinism and Lutheran Reformed theology. The 4.0 earthquake in Manhattan, Montana, was located on the latitudinal line of 45 degrees. This is because this earthquake in Manhattan, Montana, on the day of the Manhattan blackout and Hurricane Barry and the boat explosion on Table Rock Lake on July 13th, 2019, is exactly 45 months before it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. Again, this earthquake that was in Manhattan, Montana, was located on the 45th latitudinal line, and it is exactly 45 months before it is predicted a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. 45 is the ninth triangular number, and from the Bible, the number 9 symbolizes God's judgment. Also, 45 is a multiple of 9. It is 9 times 5. And also, 45 hints at 4 plus 5 equals 9. All of this 9 symbolism contained in the number 45 is why President Trump, God's trumpet, trumpeting judgment, was the 45th president. President Trump is from Manhattan. And that's why the earthquake in Manhattan, Montana, on the 45th latitudinal line during the Manhattan blackout is 45 months to the date it is predicted that there will be a dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan. This video was produced prior to April 13th, 2023. If you want to understand and appreciate how the prediction that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on May 4th, 2023, is known ahead of time. It is imperative that we learn about the numerous prophetic signs that occurred on April 13th, 2023. April 13th was the climactic penultimate date in the trail of signs that is leading to the predicted date for the dirty bomb explosion and mass evacuation from Manhattan Island on May 4th, 2023. And to understand April 13th, 2023, it is imperative that we learn about and understand the trails of prophetic signs that God used to point to April 13th. Through each of these trails of prophetic signs that God used to point to April 13th ahead of time, God told a unique, amazing, and important story that everyone needs to know. This video you are watching will explain one of these stories and their related prophetic signs that God was using to point to April 13th and ultimately May 4th and the predicted dirty bomb and evacuation in Manhattan. May 4th, or the date 5-4, as we now know, hints at the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, the first black regiment in the Civil War, and the reason God has used this theme is because it conveys the theme of slavery and freedom, which is the overarching theme of the Bible and of this life and the current end times spiritual battle, the battle to end all battles that we are all involved in right now. 
This is why, for example, on April 13th, the S&P 500 stock index gained 54 points and the prophetic hockey game involving the team from Massachusetts had a final score of 5-4, to four, which hinted at the 54th Massachusetts Regiment. This is also why, on April 13th, the 21-year-old document leaker was arrested in Massachusetts 21 days before the date 5-4, which hints at 54. Arguably, the most important video on this channel, at least in regards to the prediction for the dirty bomb in Manhattan on May 4th, the date 5-4, is the 54th Massachusetts Regiment video. Once the prediction comes to pass, you should know that all of the videos on this channel should be watched. However, there are a few top videos, such as the 54th Massachusetts Regiment video, the East Palestine video, the Obama Returns to the White House video, the Three Mile Island Accident video, and the Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory video. As you watch this video that you are currently watching, keep in mind that it was produced prior to April 13th when it was believed that it would be the date of the predicted dirty bomb in Manhattan. However, like I said, April 13th turned out to be the penultimate date in the Trail of Signs that is leading to May 4th. The 4.0 earthquake in Manhattan, Montana hints at the number 40, which in the Bible is a number that symbolizes God's judgment, as for example, in the account of Noah's flood, the flood waters increased for 40 days. On the day of the 4.0 earthquake in Manhattan, Montana, there were flood symbolism signs, including Hurricane Barry, the boat explosion on Table Rock Lake, as well as the flooding that occurred backstage of the theater that hosts the musical The Lion King. This was a news story because the musical is known for its costumes, and the costumes were damaged in the flood, and the cast had to perform without their costumes for a few days. Fifty days after this flood, in the theater of The Lion King musical, on the day of Jennifer Lopez's concert for her 50th birthday, and the day of the blackout in Hell's Kitchen, and the impromptu street performance by the musical Hades Town was a deadly flash flood in Hell's Gate Canyon National Park in Kenya, the location that inspired the movie The Lion King, the same area of southwest Kenya in which the 44th president was born. And this flash flood in the location that inspired the movie The Lion King, where the 44th president was born, was 44 days after the release of the new Lion King movie, which is stunning confirmation from God that indeed the 44th president was in fact born in southwest Kenya near Hell's Gate Canyon National Park. In the new live-action The Lion King movie that was released on July 19, 2019, James Earl Jones reprised his role as Mufasa, the Lion King. James Earl Jones also starred in the most iconic baseball movie ever made, Field of Dreams, in which he delivered a speech which was about how America could be great again. And on this same day as this flash flood in the location that inspired the movie The Lion King, the Washington, D.C. Nationals baseball team was in the national sports media news for comically holding players up in the Simba cam. The Simba cam is when the stadium's camera will focus on a fan in the stadium while they hold up their baby or their dog, mimicking the iconic scene in the movie The Lion King, when baby Simba is lifted up for everyone to see. In other words, this was a baseball Lion King prophetic sign. The two players that were held up, and only two players, were player two and player 22, coincidentally, because George Washington was born on the date 222, and this was the Washington Nationals, and God used the 9-11 events to point to George Washington and his inauguration on Federal Hall on Wall Street 
and then his march down Wall Street to Trinity Chapel, the only building at ground zero that survived the falling debris on 9-11 and survived without a scratch or a broken window. Because in Trinity Chapel, George Washington consecrated the nation to God, saying, paraphrasing, that if America were to ever turn away from God, it would lose its divine blessing and protection. This date of this Symbacam sign that pointed to George Washington through Player 2 and 22 was on September 1st, 2019, which is 9119, which hints at 911. And not only does this 44 days connection here reveal and confirm that the 44th president was born in southwest Kenya near Hell's Gate Canyon National Park, but this connection to this baseball game in Washington, D.C. involving the Washington Nationals and this connection to James Earl Jones, who starred in the most iconic baseball movie ever made, this 44 days connection confirms with Hell's Gate Canyon that the Antichrist is the 44th president who will be the president and will become the president again in Washington, D.C. God is using James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King, to hint at the upcoming explosion on the surface of the sun and the coronal mass ejection that will hit Earth and cause catastrophic power outages. The coming coronal mass ejection that will hit Earth will also trigger the eruption of Yellowstone Volcano and the location of Manhattan, Montana, the location of the prophetic earthquake, is located directly on top of the magma plume of Yellowstone Volcano. This flood backstage of the Lion King that pointed to the coming eruption on the surface of the sun occurred during the Manhattan blackout and occurred at the time of what is known as Manhattan Henge. Manhattan Henge is when the setting of the sun is perfectly aligned with the skyscraper canyon walls of Manhattan. This event occurs twice in a year. In 2019, Manhattan Henge, the event of Manhattan Henge, occurred during the Manhattan blackout. Or, better said, the Manhattan blackout occurred during Manhattan Henge because God used the Manhattan blackout to point to Manhattan Henge. The flash flood of Hell's Gate Canyon 50 days later also hinted at the canyon walls of Manhattan in the Manhattan Henge event. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 14, God tells us that the lights in the sky are for prophetic signs. The brightest light in the sky is the sun, and this event of Manhattan Henge just happened to occur during the Manhattan blackout. It was a prophetic sign that pointed to the sun and the upcoming catastrophic power outage blackouts that will be caused by an eruption on the surface of the sun which is predicted to occur on February 22nd, 2024. Manhattan Henge in 2019 was an exceptional Manhattan Henge because of the view during the Manhattan blackout when the lights of the city were out. It is said that Manhattan Henge is best viewed from 42nd Street. Times Square is located on 42nd Street and Broadway surrounds Times Square, including the musical The Lion King, and the flood backstage of the musical Lion King hints at the coming judgment from the sun, through also the symbolic use of James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King, because as will be explained in other videos, the eruption of the sun will be symbolic of a lion's roar. 50 days connection between the flood backstage of the Lion King in the Manhattan blackout and the flash flood in Hell's Gate Canyon, the location that inspired the movie The Lion King, is judgment warning for the church. The number 3000 is also symbolic of the church, as 3000 souls came to faith on Pentecost when the church was born. 3000 is also symbolic of judgment, as after their rebellion at Mount Sinai, it was, quote, about 3,000, end quote, souls that perished in God's judgment. 
on 9-11, about 3,000 souls perished, and the official total was 2,996, because God pointed to this about 3,000 that perished as judgment that is recorded in the book of Exodus. Exactly 3,000 days before the Manhattan blackout was the day that Barack Obama told the biggest lie in history when he finally presented a digital copy of his long-form birth certificate, which was proven to be a forgery after the sheriff of the sixth biggest city in the U.S., after no one else would do it, hired independent forensic labs in Europe to conduct a forensic analysis. It was concluded that the digital document was a forged layered document with nine points of obvious forgery. The wicked mainstream media will never report this though because there is no such thing as journalism anymore. Journalism has turned into social activism and the left is fighting a literal civil war against their arch enemy, conservative Christians, and in any war, the first casualty is the truth. And the left controls the mainstream media, and the political philosophy of the left is that the ends justify the means, which is why the left is evil. Three days after the birth certificate forgery was presented to the public, Obama made a joke about it at the annual White House press correspondence dinner, in which he suggested that the iconic birth scene in the movie The Lion King was the location of his birth, which was actually the truth. And this was exactly 3,000 days before the Manhattan blackout and the flood backstage of the theater that hosts the musical The Lion King, which is in turn 50 days, and both 3,000 days and 50 days both symbolize the church, and the flood in the musical The Lion King was 50 days to the flash flood in Hell's Gate Canyon in southwest Kenya, the location that inspired the movie The Lion King, on the day that the Washington Nationals were in the news for the Simba Cam comedy, which is all confirmation that Obama's comedy regarding where he was born was the biggest lie ever told in history, and is stunning confirmation from God that in fact Barack Obama was born in southwest Kenya near Hell's Gate Canyon. And this, my friends, is all confirmation from God and communication from God that the progressive secular left is the enemy of God. If you are listening to this and you were confused 10, 15 years ago, and you voted for Obama, you need to repent. God is letting you know that you need to repent. The politics of the left is evil. This isn't only a civil war between Republicans and Democrats. It is a civil war between truth and lie, good and evil. One thing to add here is that this Simbacam with the Washington Nationals, this Simbacam comedy with the Washington Nationals during the ballpark game, which by the way hints at the National Park, Hell's Gate Canyon, park and park. This uh, Simbacam was 50 days after the flood backstage of the theater that hosts the musical The Lion King. This team, the Washington Nationals, went on to win the World Series that year, which was very prophetic, extremely prophetic, and it's explained in other videos, to be their first World Series win in their franchise history of 50 years. It was their 50th year of franchise history, and then they finally won the World Series, which is more confirmation of this 50 days connection. But also, the story of when they won the World Series was how their start to the season was a miserable start to their first 50 games. This is the new story. It talks about how their first 50 games was terrible. I forget the record, but it was literally talked about being the first 50 games, and it's all about this number 50 here, as explained in the other videos. It goes back to their team being in Montreal, which is French for Mount Royal, which is symbolism for the Temple Mount, and Barack Obama being on the Temple Mount, and the prophetic World Series against the Astros, which is explained in other videos. 
And this connection is confirmation from God that proves beyond a doubt that the birth certificate is a forgery and that he told the biggest lie in history and characteristic of how the Antichrist would perform, he presented it as a joke in this same comedy speech as his joke about the movie The Lion King, Obama played a pre-recorded skit that presented him in a satire of the movie The King's Speech, which was a movie about the King of England's voice, which again is hinting at the upcoming lion's roar on the surface of the sun. Two more quick things to add here. The first 50 games of their season, they ended up being in last place. And so it was a rags to riches story, which add, added to the prophetic flavor or significance of the prophetic sign. Also, the date, this date, 427, April 27th, is also numerically symbolic because 4 times 27 is 108, which is a multiple of 9. And God uses the multiples of 9 to symbolize the number 9, which from the Bible symbolizes God's judgment. 108, the two numbers, 1 and 8, also add up to 9. And it also hints at 18, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6, which in Bible prophecy is Antichrist symbolism. And that is the point here, is that this is an Antichrist symbolic sign. Also, 27 subtract 4 is 23, which identifies the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23. Also, because 4 times 27 adds up to 108, which, as I just explained, hints at the number 9, it's a multiple of 9, and 1 plus 8 is 9, that gives us 9 and 11, because it's in the year 2011. So the 4 and 27 become a 9, and then the year 11 gives us a 9-11 symbolism sign. That's very relevant in this connection, because, as was explained, this leads to this date September 1st, 2019, which in itself is symbolism for 9-11. And again, on this day was the Symbacam with the Washington Nationals, and God used the 9-11 events to, to point to George Washington. On the same day that Obama presented his fake birth certificate, April 27, 2011, was the deadliest and costliest tornado outbreak in U.S. history which surpassed the prophetic Super Tuesday outbreak in 2008 when Obama first took the lead in the Democrat presidential nominee primaries. Also, on April 27th, the famous street preacher from New York City died. He founded the famous Times Square Church, and he died exactly 3,000 days, which symbolizes the church, before the Manhattan blackout in Times Square, where his church is, which makes this major judgment warning for the American church. This preacher, David Wilkerson, was also known for being one of the only preachers in the days after 9-11 to preach that 9-11 was a judgment warning of impending judgment and destruction of the nation from God instead of the typical message of peace and tolerance that was being preached in every other church at that time. Again, the number 19 is symbolic of judgment and 9-11, as 19 hints at Isaiah 9-10. April 27th, the day of the tornado outbreak and the day of Obama's birth certificate forgery and the day of the death of the famous New York City preacher was exactly 19 years after New York Yankees player number 99, Aaron Judge, was adopted. Again, the number 9 and the name Judge hints at God's judgment. Player 99, Aaron Judge, was adopted by his parents named Judge the day after he was born. This is beautiful because Christ's church is God's adopted sons and daughters. Contrary to what many people that don't know God say, we are not all God's children. We can choose to be God's adopted children through his Son, Jesus Christ. 
And so the adoption of New York Yankees Aaron Judge, player 99, connects extremely profoundly to the date it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in New York City with 19 years and then 3,000 days and then 45 months. The number 45 is the ninth triangular number and from the judgment warning signs on the day of the Manhattan blackout, it is exactly 45 months to the date it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. Once this prediction has come to pass, you should know that you need to watch every minute of every video on this channel and read the homepage of the website trumpprediction.com or harriscrashprediction.com. Time is running out, and if for some reason you don't have enough time to watch all of the videos on this channel, I will leave a list of the most important videos in the description box below this video or on the homepage of the website. In terms of God's prophetic signs and knowing what God is doing after having watched this video, you are now one of the most informed people on the planet. The question is, what will you now do with this information? And how many people will you help get this video to? Keep on posting the link to this video everywhere in social media. And if you would like the PDF file for the flyer I hand out, on busy street corners, place on car wind shields in busy parking lots, and put in mailboxes, please contact me at darrenjacksinbox at gmail.com. In my opinion, every single believer, unless they have a health condition, should be doing something like this in the streets every day. Also, everyone should have some of these flyers in their pockets, handing them out as they go about their daily business, when they walk from their car into the bank or to the grocery store, as they walk up and down the aisles of the grocery store, hand them out to people. I personally don't know what someone is thinking if they are not doing this. And if someone thinks that they are too shy to do this, what I have to say is get over it. Courage isn't a lack of fear. It is action in spite of it. And God wants us to be courageous for him. Keep in mind Jesus' parable of the ten bags of gold. The bags of gold represent our abilities and opportunities, and the servants represent Christians. The knowledge in this video and the knowledge of the Lord's timing is a bag of gold. The Christian that did nothing with his bag of gold was banished to hell. The reformed Lutheran Calvinist once saved always saved theology that says that a Christian doesn't have to do anything is false and is deception from Satan. And believe me, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions is to prove what I have just said. Make sure you watch the 23 church signs video on this channel. Also keep in mind Ezekiel chapter 33. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet so that the people are not warned, the sword comes and takes any one of them, that person is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. If you choose to not do anything about the information you have learned in this video, in other words, tell and warn others about it, it would have been better for you to not have learned this in the first place. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs. These so-called aliens will make Pope Francis their ambassador for the world. The Pope is the first of the two Antichrists. Catholicism isn't the Bible and isn't Christianity. Catholicism is ancient pagan religion presented in a wrapper to make it appear like it is Christianity. Catholicism is the wolf in sheep's clothing. There will likely be a massive merry ghost that the whole world will see, but it will be demonic deception. Praying to Mary is praying to demons. God absolutely hates the pagan worship and traditions within Roman Catholicism. The New Age or New Spirituality or Consciousness religion is evil deception from Satan. The supernatural experiences that Catholics experience that confirm for them that Catholicism is true are demonic deception. The same applies to all other false religions and New Age spirituality. In 2 Thessalonians, it says we get the deception we ask for. But these spiritual experiences are demonic deception for those that refuse to love the truth and so be saved. 
In other words, it is foolish to rely on spiritual or mystical experiences, and those that do are asking for demonic deception. Satan is very real, he is very powerful, he has enormous power, and he doesn't fool people as a being with two horns and a tail. He presents himself and his powers as an angel of light. New Age near-death experiences are deception from Satan. There are also many, many near-death experiences of hell. Why would you believe the New Ager ones and not the ones of hell? The supernatural highs from yoga and meditation are demonic deception. They are the counterfeit Holy Spirit. Miraculous healing as a result of New Age practices such as Reiki, crystal work, yoga, etc. are demonic and from the power of Satan. There is absolutely no New Age or collective consciousness type of explanation for how these predictions were known ahead of time. They were known ahead of time through Bible prophecy and watching for God's prophetic signs. Jesus was not just another supposed enlightened master like the supposedly enlightened Buddha. Jesus was God incarnate and he is the only way to eternal life and to God the Father. The New Age religion and new spirituality is in truth worship of the self. It is transgression of the first commandment. And it is the height of false idolatrous, false god worship. You, we, are not God. We are not part of God. God is holy, which is a Hebrew word that means separate from. The big deception in the end times will be New Age spirituality, and this satanic deception will merge with Catholicism. The purpose for these predictions, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions, is to prove the things that I am saying. The New Age religion is deception from Satan designed to keep someone in their pride and for repenting for their sins and for admitting that they need to be forgiven and that they need a savior, Lord Jesus Christ. New Age religion is essentially atheistic spirituality, and New Age spirituality and New Agers are essentially narcissistic, immature children that are rebelling against a disciplinary father. Contrary to what New Agers and Muslims say, the Bible has not been tainted or changed. This is a lie from Satan. There is no evidence for this. And in fact, the evidence is overwhelmingly to the contrary. If you hold the New Age belief that life is for learning lessons and that whatever we supposedly don't learn in this life, we will supposedly learn in the supposed next reincarnation. And if you believe that there is no need for justice, that Adolf Hitler and the child rapist and murderer will get off the hook, not only do you have a sick, twisted view of the world and your values are morally repugnant, and not only are you an enemy of the true God, which is the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, but you will go to hell unless you plead for mercy for your sin and believe in your Savior, Jesus Christ. The New Age Hindu belief that all religions are authentic expressions of the truth is a lie from Satan. The following statement is not a political statement regarding immigration. The overwhelming level of immigration of peoples from other cultures to Western countries was designed by Satan as judgment from God in order to expunge the West of its traditional Judeo-Christian values in exchange for multiculturalism and an ethos of intolerance of intolerance. This credo of inclusivism of the cult of the political left, combined with the worship of science and backed by pseudoscientific assertions regarding physics, made for fertile ground for the Hindu belief that all religions are different paths up the same mountain and fertile ground for the Hindu religious practices such as meditation and yoga. This New Age religion that is leading to the soon coming one world religion in which all religions come together in the spirit of peace is the Antichrist religion. Either the world is round or it is flat. Likewise, God is either a personal being set apart from his creation, the word holy is Hebrew for set apart, or God is the creation itself. 
and an impersonal energy or collective consciousness, etc. This latter belief is called pantheism. God is either the creation itself or he created the creation. He is either pantheistic or monotheistic, but he cannot be both. The monotheistic God of the Bible desires to have his holy set-apart spirit dwell inside your body, but because this God is good, he is also righteous and he hates sin. We are created in the image of God and as such we have free will. Our free will is supremely important to God. God will not impose himself on anyone. No one wishes to marry a robot, and likewise, God wishes to have a genuine relationship with his creature that he has given free will to. Only when we choose God will he then choose to dwell inside us with his holy set-apart spirit. His holy set-apart spirit is the opposite of what New Agers and Hindus think of as the so-called universal spirit. For God to be able to dwell inside our body, which is a temple for God, we must first cleanse our temple, our body. The cleansing of our temple comes through repentance for our sins and commitment to follow God and his ways, which he revealed in the Bible. God will then reciprocate with his holy set-apart spirit inside us and begin the regeneration process of our souls, which will lead to eternal life. Claiming to be part of the impersonal energy God that is the creation itself and practicing supposed spiritual exercises like yoga and meditation in order to enable supposed spiritual development is like trying to force God into yourself without first choosing God and without God choosing you. It is like a rape or a forced arranged marriage, which not coincidentally is part of the Hindu religion. God hates this. It is also worship of the self and the height of the transgression of the first commandment to not worship other gods. Through many clever lies, Satan has deceived many atheistic spirituality people into these new age practices and this is why the energetic highs and the miraculous healings they receive is a product of the counterfeit Holy Spirit. It is the product of Satan's power. As it says in the Bible, God gives those the deception that they ask for. You will go to hell unless you repent of New Age spirituality. And the purpose of this prediction that is from God that is in this video is to prove this to you. There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan. Or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin, and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action 
is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Obviously, when these predictions come to pass, you will know that you should watch all of the videos on this channel, beginning with the videos that are linked to in the description box below this video. I strongly recommend not going through the videos on this channel in random fashion, selecting titles that may be interesting, but rather I strongly recommend following my recommendations that are listed in the description box below this video. This channel is not a daily or weekly update on the latest news. Rather, this channel is a library that has documented God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com, or predictionsproveit.com, and also check out the other information that I have linked to on the website. You should also pause this video right now and make a note of my other social media outlets. You never know when you will need them and you might not be able to find them later. Also, if you want to download these videos as podcasts, I now have a podcast channel at Podbean, which is named Predictions Prove It.